Hello, welcome back to Kudo Camera Company uh, YouTube live stream. Um, what we're going to look at now are Nikon F mount lenses and how to adapt them to, to mirrorless. So, Nikon is just known for having super high quality glass. Um, there's a huge following on, on Nikon from the earliest days of the, um, the, the lenses straight up through um, the glass that they're putting out today. And um, known as, uh, often seen as Nikkor, uh, Nik uh, uh, Nikkor lenses. This is a micro Nikon and or micro Nikkor. It's a really nice macro lens. Um, and there's just so much glass to choose from when it comes to, to Nikon. So if you're here, you know that. That's why you probably found the video, um, unless you're watching live. But uh, you know, if you are researching and you came across this video, we're going to talk about how to adapt your Nikon F mount lenses, uh, be it a modern autofocus lens or current, uh, or excuse me, or old school uh, pre AI, non AI, AI, AIS uh, lens to your mirrorless camera. So um, I'm uh, Ben Kudo from Kudo Camera Company, and we uh, sell vintage lenses, lens adapters, camera bodies, uh, vintage straps, all sorts of um, things like that. So please do support us by uh, subscribing to the channel, checking out our, our store. Um, you can find us, uh, there's uh, links to the store in the description, and uh, you can get your adapters there as well as uh, find some really cool, unique lenses. So please check us out and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, so let's dive in. So Nikon lenses come in a few different varieties. You've got, um, what we're gonna focus on today are the, um, the simple adapters. Uh, they are not for autofocus and auto aperture. They're just uh, simply to adapt the lens to, to your mirrorless body. So there's two main types of adapters for Nikon. Um, you've got this version, which is the, for the AI, um, non-AI, AIS, and then we've also got the Nikon G version. So with Nikon G versus um, the AI version, so this one here is AI version or AIS um, or non-AI, and this one here is Nikon G version. So the difference is that this one has this silver ring built in. This is the G version. This is gonna allow you to control the aperture blades on an autofocus lens that does not have um, an aperture control dial. Like you see how this one has the, the numbers down here at the bottom. And when you turn it, the aperture opens and closes. So let me just use two hands for a second here. So basically when you, when you twist this, it opens and closes. So this is um, a non-AI version here. So you can see I'm, I've got complete control over this aperture um, straight out of the gate. So therefore, when you're using this adapter, there's no need for a, a built-in um, built aperture control. But if your lens is a newer lens um, and it doesn't have this manual control, um, most uh, autofocus lenses do not have this built-in. There are some from the um, from the 80s and maybe early 90s that still retained it, but for the most part, most autofocus lenses are going to require that you use this uh, to to control the aperture. So what it does is, let's see, make sure you can see it. There's a little notch in there that when you twist this, can you see that moving back and forth? I'm trying to get the right light on it. So you can, I know, I know you can see it there. I'll get, I'll get a little shine on it. See it moving. So that'll uh, couple with the bottom of the lens and will allow you to control your aperture. So if you're not sure which version you need, it's pretty simple when you see them side by side. If your lens has a built-in aperture ring, then you don't need an aperture ring on your adapter. So you're good to go with this very basic version. If, you, if your lens is an autofocus and auto aperture ring, um, then you're going to need to use uh, this Nikon G version that has this built in. So for Nikon, I don't understand exactly why, but the lenses 
click in in reverse. So instead of the old saying lefty loosey righty tighty with these lenses it's actually um, lefty tighty righty loosey. So um, so you line up the, the dot with a dot and then when you twist to the left you twist it until it clicks. So most things in life you twist it to the right to tighten it with Nikon they wanted to make it backwards for whatever reason so that's fine so then to take it off you twist to the right so righty left righty loosey lefty tighty um and one thing about these nikon um this adapter i've i've used it quite a bit so it's it's broken in but the way that these work they have some pretty heavy duty uh tension springs um right in here and you actually have to overcome that you want this little notch that's here. There's a little notch, um, or excuse me, I guess it's a, a nub uh, to fall into this notch here. So when you're getting it lined up, you wanna make sure that you feel that engage and click. So sometimes when you first get one of these Nikon adapters, whether it's the AI version or the G version, you're gonna twist it a little bit and say, oh, that's, that's probably a good, oh yeah, it's, it's on there pretty good. But then what happens is you can twist it. If you don't keep going until you hear that click, it can come off. Um, so what you need to do is twist it, but don't just stop once you feel it bump. Um, when you feel the bump, you have to engage it fully. So let it bump and then give it a good twist. Not just a half twist, a full twist until you hear the click. You hear that? So now it's locked in. If you only go you know, some of the way, it's not, it's not gonna work um, for you. So twist until you feel a click and then you can pop it off. It's super easy to use. Um, and then you've got full control. Now, one of the cool things about the G version is that even if you take this G version and you mount it on, it still works. And it controls the aperture um, with the silver dial which you know there's really no need to have two dials but uh, nonetheless you at this point um, uh, the silver one seems to override the the native one but you can see either 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 dial will work in this case um, but the silver one seems to override the uh, the body one or maybe it's that uh, being open on the silver one well nonetheless the point is, if you have the Nikon G version, this is gonna work on your AI lenses as well as your autofocus lenses. So um, if you only have vintage glass like, like me, um, then I just go with the AI version of my camera bag personally. But uh, for those of you who um, maybe you have uh, some vintage glass, but you also have some autofocus uh, lenses. This won't carry over the autofocus and um, auto aperture, but it will allow you to use an autofocus lens on your on your camera. So always mount the lens uh, before putting it on the camera, just to keep dust away from your sensor. But once you get this locked on, you'll be you'll be good to go. And um, highly recommend these. Uh, Nikkor lenses. Uh, this particular one is the Micro Nikkor. It's a macro lens. It was originally a document uh, copying lens um, and it's just super nice. It takes great portraits too, especially for groups of um, two or three uh, people where you, do, you don't want to have razor thin depth of field because you want to get a couple of people in focus. This can, this can still do that, um, the 3.5. So um, this is a really cool one. It's not super fast, but that's not what it's built for. So yeah, so please do check out the store um, to get your adapters. Um, we have adapters for uh, Nikon, Canon FD, Minolta MD, M42, um, M39, or, or like a thread mount. We've got uh, so many different types of adapters for uh, Sony E-mount, um, for FX, uh, Fujifilm FX, and Micro Four Thirds. So it would be great if you could uh, go over and check out the store, see what classic lenses we have. And, um, and also um, maybe if, if when you're in the market, please consider uh, supporting us.
So I appreciate you tuning in. Um, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram and definitely check out the store. Uh, but uh, I appreciate uh, hearing from you. If you have any questions, um, there's different ways to reach out. You can reach me on any of those channels. And I always try to be very responsive. Anytime you order something, I try to um, ship it out the same day or the very next day. Um, I haven't had any instances, uh, knock on wood, where I haven't been able to deliver in those time frames. So even though I say uh, two, two uh, business day handling, usually at same day or, or next day. Um, but uh, I always try to exceed your expectations in that regard. So if you want to see any different topics um, in the future, please comment or get a hold of me and I'll definitely uh, be doing those. We do lens repair, um, adapters, uh, adapter videos, lens repair videos, um, review videos, and soon we'll have some guests um, remotely or maybe here in the camera shop. So uh, keep in touch and I look forward to, to hearing from you. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.